Okay, here we go. We're going to do a test and see if this uh, this uh, microwave blowing the breaker can be uh, replicated. Now, I'm going to say that uh, I'm not sure which one. It happened to my mom, not me, so I can't see that. i got to go get my magnifying glass. I'm going to get my magnifying glass. Okay, here we go. They're lined up. You can actually see it in there. Read. Uh, dinner, beverages. So she said she thought it was something like reheat. So I'm, I'm pretty sure I've read these things over and over. It would probably either be dinner, entree, or reheat. But I'm going to say she said the word reheat. So let's do that. Okay, it says auto. And uh, three. Let's start. I don't hear. I'm just going to kind of stay in this area and see. Because when you get to the back, the fan's louder than that transformer sound that I'm trying to get on the video. And I'll wait. Like, it said three minutes. So I'm going to wait for two minutes to go by, and then I'll stop it, too. And, uh, <coughs> and start it again, because she said that's what happened. She just stopped it by opening the door like you would normally. Okay, I'm starting to hear that. And it didn't get very loud, that transformer sound. I, sw I think I kind of smelled burnt wiring smell anyway. I almost thought I smelled it on and off, but I thought, oh, it's probably just left over in my mind from whenever it did happen with the cord, you know. Uh, oh, let's stop it here. Oh. Okay. Water's not really, the, the bowl's not, the Pyrex bowl's not really warming up that much. So here we go. Now let's just go like this. I figured that, just did like it should. Now let me go around here while it's running and see if the cord's heating up. I don't think it will be, but let's go make sure. Uh, uh. Get... No, it's cold. It was a cool night and cool in the house. It's cold. So trying to go there it's making the noise now okay that's not too hot yet so let's try the next one dinner entree maybe it'll run a little longer Hey, that just put a one up there. Let me hit start. See what happens. Ah, went all the way up to 435. Oh, it's mode one, two, three, like that. Let's see if it's warmed up enough to. Um, I hear the noise again. Let's see.
Okay, it's the transformer shut down at 253. So uh, that really should be part of the normal operation. Let's see. Okay, that bowl is starting to warm up now. Okay, it didn't kick anything off. No problems. The transformer's not running or that. Uh, you see, if it was a fan, then it wouldn't quit like that. So. First, we thought it might be the fan hitting something. Let me go around and check that cable again. Cool as it can be, that's good. As long as we don't have trouble in the in the uh, six-way, you know, power cord circuit to part of the circuit, then we're good. So, but it hasn't kicked back in. I wonder if I can. No, you can't do anything to the power. Although it, I hear it sound like it's something that yeah, transformer kicked back in. I know when you get back there it gets uh, and that banging is me touching the top of the microwave it's really thin thinner than any I've ever seen cost cutting measure the fan I know gets louder and the, the, the frequency just doesn't pick up on the mic on the phone that good it's picking up the lower frequencies of the fan as to the higher frequency of that transformer. <coughs> I have swore that there, almost every time I've tried to go over there and sniff of it, on, especially on the left side there, kind of in that corner, I swear I smell a little bit of electrical. Of course, it's new, and, you know, they're going to make some smells, but uh, it's been used for three days, or, you know, three people, four days. Okay, so I can't get it to, you know, do anything wrong for me. <coughs> it just works like it should. So, still, the other one I used it to, the, the uh, um, Kenmore that I thought had gone bad, out there plugged in in the garage, into my 20 amp circuit, it works. I think it's a 20 amp circuit in here, too. Most of it, I realized, I thought that our circuits were mostly 15 amp in the house, and I was looking in the breaker box, it was all but two or three or, or 20 amp. So, um, I'm guessing that it's okay. Uh, I'm guessing it. I'm going to bring the other one back in and just get this ready to ship back. Because if it's gone off twice, just because it won't do it for me, don't mean it won't do it again. So, if it's blown that breaker down here on our. It's a, about a seven to eight foot long cord. It's uh, where's my? There it is. Only thing on there is those little low wattage bug uh, repellers, besides the microwave itself. And uh, it's seven or eight foot cord. Of course, it was made that way. Didn't didn't add that to it or anything. And it's uh, I'm sure it's 14 gauge wire because I had it apart. On one of my videos, I said it backwards. I always do that. Uh, I know my wire gauges pretty well, but when I'm talking, I always get things wrong. So, uh, I, it's uh, it's 15 amp. It says it on it, so I know it's 14 gauge. I was just looking them up, and the 20 amps are all 12 gauge. And they don't make them make any these days with 10 gauge wire, which probably would be overkill anyway. But uh, all right, 
uh, this is done. I'm going to swap them out, and this one's going back. Even if we have to pay shipping, it'd be better than spending 80 bucks for something we're not going to, can't use. Alright, bye.